Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views and we're back with another video for my series of videos where I show you guys 10 things that you didn't know that your iPhone could do. And in today's video, we have some pretty cool things and most of these are actually very, very useful as well. And you will probably find yourself using many of these on a daily basis. And we're starting things off with the Notes app. But before we get into all this, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you're watching this video right now and you're currently not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so it really helps out a lot so let's get into this we have the notes app here and you can see we have a list how to create sub lists on the notes app so here i have test one and test two these should be like the sub lists how to create that there's no option if you select it on the format here there's no option but the easy way to do it is simply swipe the items forward so you can see i swiped three items of test one forward and now it will create a sub list so we have sub the list one here and two and then we have the items right there that's the easy way to create a sub list on the notes app now on the home screen of your iphone of course you will have your apps here and most people will keep the same apps all the time on their iphone on the home screen like this is like an arrangement of apps and the apps that i have here on these two pages that i always keep on my home screen this is probably the same for years now i'm just used to seeing the same apps there even though a lot of these are apps that i don't actually use a lot at all but there's a very smart way to actually have a home screen with apps that you use or need and that's this one right here so you can see what i have here a few apps and these will actually be updated based on how frequently i'm using these apps or time of the day these will be updated because these are here and are suggested from siri now here is how you do this so you go to the widgets panel find siri suggestions and add app suggestions you can add it to your home screen and you can see you only have the medium size vid widget which you can add but it will show you the apps you use frequently or you use at the certain time of the day now you can add a bunch of these as many as you want and they will all display different apps so all these will work together as a big widget and of course display you the apps that you use the most during the time of the day or that period so it's really really cool very useful you can all remove all the other apps from the home screen and just have this one page which shows you only the apps that you need now here is another thing you can do with siri and this one is really interesting you can have siri disable the face id of your iphone really quickly in any case you need to do this all you have to do while your iphone is locked you can just say the hey word and then just ask the name of the iphone owner whose iphone is this And just like that, it will tell you whose iPhone it is, but you will see now it will actually disable the Face ID. You can see right here, your passcode is required to enable Face ID. So Face ID is now disabled on the iPhone and the only way to get it back is of course by entering the passcode of the iPhone. Now here's another cool thing that you can do with Siri and this will work with photos, maybe links from web pages from Safari and note videos or things like that. You want to send something to someone on iMessage. The easiest way is to ask Siri. So you're on the photos app. You see a photo here. You want to send it to someone. Just ask Siri, send this to test M. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, I can add a comment here if I want to say something or just tap send and you're good to go. Just like that, you can send photos, links, notes to anyone you want using Siri. Now, here is another thing that you can do with your iPhone from the Face ID and passcode settings, which in my opinion is really, really important. And of course, will always protect you and protect your data. So let's say you lose your iPhone, you forgot it somewhere or it gets stolen. Of course, the person that gets it might try to enter the passcode and actually just get into your device. But what you can do and what your iPhone can do is erase all the data that are on the iPhone. Basically self-destruct. Everything will be deleted. Simply make sure you have this enabled right here. It says erase all data on this iPhone after 10 failed passcode attempts. Someone tries to get into your device, ten, the 10th time they fail to get in, it will be deleted, everything will be deleted on the device. 
Now here is another really cool iPhone feature. If you don't use Face ID on your iPhone, you will have this feature right here under Face ID and Passcode. So just find Require Password and you can have your iPhone unlocked for any time you want. 1 minute, 5, 15, 1 hour or 4 hours. This means that when you enter the passcode once, you don't need to enter it for any time you choose here. So let's say I unlock my device the next five minutes, even if I lock it, it won't require me to enter a passcode, it will be unlocked. Of course, it's not that safe to keep it like on longer times here because you might forget it somewhere or things like that. But if you just wanna have that and you don't use Face ID, this is a really cool feature. And this right here is really cool. Many people think that you can actually not do anything with home screen widgets on iOS and they just stand there and display info. Well, they are not interactable, but some of them kind of are interactable like this one right here, which allows you to launch apps. Now you can have this really cool widget on the home screen that looks really nice. And of course, even works as it should it will allow you to open these apps directly from here. So you can have here a bunch of different apps. Of course, you will have Apple apps and third-party apps. You can see it will open them as easy as that directly from the home screen. Here is how it works. So you install the app, which of course I'll leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have installed the app, you go to large right here and you tap to add widget. Now I have added that one with that design, but you will have all kinds of different ones right here. Once you choose the widget that you want to add, of course, now you can go ahead and add apps here. You can choose the apps that you want to add from the list or right there, simply tap there and choose which app you want to add to that position, or you can even search for any app that you want. So from here, just search any app you want and you can add it to the list. Once you have added that, you have of course your widget here, and then you can go ahead and add it to the home screen. Simply add it as any other widget. So from here, you can see what we can do. As I said, open apps. And you can see it has that like transition because that's the way it works when you don't have interactable widgets. But we can make that better simply by going to accessibility, go to right here to per app settings, and then go to home screen, and then make sure you go all right here to reduce motion and turn it on. And this will make that a bit better. So you can see you will only have that slide like animation and you will get into the app that you need. Now you can see right here, we have actually a transparent background on this widget. To do that, all you have to do is just go to the edit mode here, take a screenshot, tap the dumb button, and then open the app. Now make sure you go ahead and tap on this button. It will take you to the settings. Tap on transparent background right there, click here and here and just choose the screenshot we just took. And then when you go to the home screen, you have the widget here, 3D touch on the widget, tap on edit widget and make sure you have chosen here transparent like this and enable this and choose the position where you want to place the widget and you're good to go. You will have this really cool app launcher on the home screen of your device. Here's another really cool thing that your iPhone can do, and that is finding your AirPods. Now, AirPods are of course small and you will leave them everywhere. Maybe you have your AirPods, but you forgot the case somewhere. The easiest way to find them, ask Siri and it will play a sound. So just ask Siri, find my AirPods Pro. And you can just tap here on play sound and it will start playing a sound from the AirPods, actually from the AirPods case, and you can find them really, really easily. Now the sound will start really low, and then of course it will just make the volume even higher, so you can listen to them right here, here I have them, and then just place them at the microphone. This is the sound that Siri will play on your AirPods in order for you to easier find them. Now this right here is probably one of my favorite iOS features. So most of the time I keep my iPhone on mute, but of course I have contacts that I want to be able to answer to them at any time of the day and them to be able to reach me at any time of the day. What you can do about it, go to the contact, tap on edit, and then make sure you go to ringtone. So let's just go to ringtone right here and enable emergency bypass. 
right here. If you do this, that contact, when he calls you, the ringer will be on even though you might have the mute switch turned on. That way it will of course bypass the mute button and you make sure that that contact can reach you at any time of the day. And last but not least, we're going to notifications. Of course, some apps and some notifications from some apps are more important than others. And sometimes you might get a lot of notifications and maybe even miss on really important ones. So if you have apps like emails or maybe iMessage that you want to make sure that you get notifications from and you don't miss them, what you can do is actually go to that app right here under the notification settings and go to banner style. Make sure you choose persistent so the banner won't be removed at all. Once you get a notification, it will stay there until you open it. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.